Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. So this is the lab demonstration of uh, the experiment that is based on root locus. So uh, it has been derived from your control systems normalized book and here are the objectives. We have to verify the effect of open loop poles and zeros upon the shape of the root locus and we have to verify the root locus as a tool for estimating the effect of open loop gain. This is important upon the trans, uh, transient response of closed loop systems and thirdly we have to use MATLAB to design the gain of controller I mean the controller that's based on a gain by root locus so the software packages that we require are MATLAB and the control systems toolbox uh, here's the introduction to root locus I've already given you a pretty much uh, detailed video upon root locus and uh, I've already explained the size tool and uh, the design of controllers using size tool so root locus and all these things have already been explained in, in very detail to you guys so i hope that that would be very clear so we'll move toward the tasks that we have to do in this lab so i'm moving to the lab tasks so what do we have to do is that using matlab size design tool set up a negative feedback system you have to set up the negative feedback system unity feedback system of this transfer function this is the forward transfer function to produce a root locus for convenience set up the zero at minus six using size or design tools compensator function by simply dragging the zero to minus six on the resulting root locus print the root locus for the zero at minus six move the zero to the following locations and print out a root locus at each location minus 2, minus 1.5, minus 1.37 and minus 1.2 so uh, you must be thinking that why does he say that uh, set up the 0 at minus 6 using size or design tools compensator function and not put the transfer function as it is in the MATLAB's uh, command window or the script where you write the transfer functions so that's because that if you declare the transfer function as it is in the script or the command window then it will have a fixed 0 at minus 6 and fixed poles at 0 minus 0.5 and minus point and minus 10 so you won't be able to drag the 0 at uh, minus 6 to these locations if you have already declared that 0 in your MATLAB script or command window so in order to make it movable what you will do is that you will declare a transfer function with some gain and these poles and not include the zero in a declaration while using a MATLAB script or the command window when you are calling uh, the SISO tool for uh, the transfer function and when you will open the SISO tool for this transfer function in which minus six has not been included as a zero what you will do is that you will set up a zero at minus six yourself using the size of tools compensator function uh, you will place a 0 at minus 6 and then you will be able to drag the 0 to minus 2, minus 1.5, minus 1.37 and minus 1.2 I guess that's very easy and pretty much simple considering the fact that I have explained and uh, implemented and show you examples of uh, much complex uh, problems so I don't think that would be going uh, that is going to be an issue so you ha just have to print out a root locus for each location the diagram of the root locus that you will be uh, having in front of you you need to take a snapshot of that and uh, play, uh, paste it in the report for these four locations then what we do we have is that using MATLAB's size of design tool set up a negative unity feedback system with this transfer function to produce a root locus open the LTI viewer for the size of design tool to show step responses so what do we, uh, did we have in the last uh, uh, a task was that we needed uh, that we needed to move uh, the zero to different locations and then have a look at the root locus but in this uh, task we need to open the LTI viewer for size of design tool to show the step responses and then using values of uh, gain specified in prelab 2 record the percentage overshoot and settling time and print the root loci and uh, step response for each value of k okay so let's have a look that uh, what do we have in prelab 2 okay in prelab 2 it's the same transfer function that we have over there i guess if the open loop system of prelab 1 given below the estimate 
given below then estimate the percentage overshoot at the following values of gain k 20 50 85 200 and 700 okay so i guess he is used to, using the same values of k 20 and um, all of them that were given in the prelab 2 and then at all these values you have to use the sizes design tool and you have to see the step responses i have already shown you in my descriptive videos that how do you do that so i'll paste the links on the bottom of this video so that you can have a look at them easily and uh, you need to record the percentage overshoot and setting time from them and print the root loci and step response for each value of k i guess there were four to five values of k given in the prelab too now from uh, the task number three is from prelab three let kp by kd is equal to four and use matlab to design the value of kd to yield a step response with a maximum percentage overshoot of 0.2 percent okay so this is uh, coming from prelab three let's have a look at prelab three prelab three is uh, looking pretty much difficult and complex but it's not that uh, difficult uh, I show you that there's a simple transfer function you can use Simulink you can use uh, any other uh, tool to derive the transfer function to uh, you can use the line mode command to have a transfer function of this system and then you need to see that uh, you need to have a look at the values of KP and KD and then set the value such that you need, you acquire a percentage overshoot of 0.2 percent okay so you need to go through this task uh, which says that all the uh, constants that have been used in the below diagram given diagram uh, have been explained and given already and uh, it says obtain an open equivalent open loop transfer function and all that and here is the compensator transfer function jc this is the compensator transfer function kds plus kp so you need to see that you'll have a kds plus kp over here that's the transfer function uh, compensator transfer function and we know that in our lab task we have been given that kp by kd is equal to 4 so if the compensator transfer function is kds plus kp uh, okay i can help you over here that if you take out kd common from this equation what you will have is that kd into s plus kp by kd and uh, we know that kp by kd is 4 as given in the task so what we will have is that kd into s plus 4 as kp by kd is equal to 4 so the compensator transfer function would be kd into s plus 4 so you'll have to find the value of kd uh, into this transfer function that yields a percentage overshoot of 0.2 percent they're pretty much easier tasks that uh, you just need uh, to put in i guess 20 to 25 minutes on this and the task would be done uh, uh, the deadlines would be short because you know the time uh, is short for us and your lab exams and sorry final exams are coming so i hope that uh, there's no issue and you can uh, still ask me if there's any problem or issue uh, that's pretty much this lab i uh, hope that all of you would be in good health uh, take care of yourselves allah Hafiz.